Good afternoon, this is Dr. Gaudette from SCC. I just wanted to provide some instruction for you on how to use the calculator and uh, use it for graphing. So I'll just take a couple of simple problems here. Um, y equals 4x plus 1. I'd like to graph that on the Cartesian coordinate system. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my very rough kind of xy coordinate system here. It's best if you use graph paper so you can really be more accurate. Now if I'm going to graph this by hand, my process is that I'm going to make what's called a t-table and input is x, that always goes first, output is y. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a value for input. So I kind of like to work on both sides of the equal sign. So I'm going to start with negative 2 and then I'm going to go 0 and then 2. Those are the input values that I'm going to select. Then for my output values, if the input is negative 2, then my output is 4 times negative 2 plus 1. That's negative 8 plus 1, which is negative 7. So if I graph that, negative 2, let's extend this down a little bit, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that's going to be about right here. If my input is 0, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 1, that gives me an output of 1. So let me just, again, kind of doing this out of order here, but I'm just going to add some more tick marks. So 0, 1 is here on the y-axis. If my input is 2, my output is 4 times 2 plus 1. That's 8 plus 1, or 9. So I can graph here. There's 2. I'm going to need some more on my vertical. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's really at the top of the page. Let me bring that down just a little bit here. So 2, 9 is going to be right here. And then if I take a straight edge and connect these, then I'm going to have a really good idea, given the inaccuracy of drawing by hand without graph paper, of what my graph's going to look like. When in doubt, make your circles a little bigger. Okay. So then on the calculator, what I can do is, first of all, turn on the calculator. And then I'm going to hit the y equals key. So I'm going to write some steps maybe over here. Calculator. And that is y equals. That's the first step. Then in the y equals, I'm going to type 4. And then x, which is here on this second row, plus 1. And so then my second step. So y equals is my first step. Second step. 4x plus 1. Third step, I'm going to go ahead and hit the zoom, and I'm going to use zoom 6, which is the standard window. So I'm going to scroll down to zoom 6, and then I'm going to hit enter. And what that's going to do is graph on a standard negative 10 to 10 for x, and negative 10 to 10 for y. And what I want to do is just take a look at that graph here and make sure that it looks pretty close to the one I have here, and it does. If I want to verify using the calculator that these points are correct, I can access my table. So I'm going to write table here, and then I'm going to say calculator. So to access the table, I'm going to use the second function, which is the blue button right here. And then I'm going to use the graph button, which if you look at graph, above graph it says table. And so what that gives me is a much more complete XY table than the one that I've developed here. So I'm just going to scroll to negative 2 and verify that negative 7 is the output. That's the same I have here. If I look at 0 as my input, 1 is my output, that's what I have here. And then if I look at 2 for input, 9 I have output. So this checks. 
So again, it's second and I'm going to say table because I think that is a little bit more clear than graph. So my points that I selected, uh, that I selected the inputs and determined the outputs, those match. My graph matches and so this problem is good. So when you're given the problems on the computer to graph, if they are solved for y, then you can plug them into your calculator and you can generate your values and you can use selected values to graph on the computer. So let's see what's going to change if my graph that I have or the equation that I have is not solved for y. So I'm going to move these things down a little bit. If I have 2x plus y equals 7, I can't put that into the calculator until it's solved for y. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. That's going to have the impact of moving the 2x to the right hand side and making it negative 2x. If I want to write that in a little bit better form, be sure you understand why y equals 7 minus 2x is the same as y equals negative 2x plus 7. So I'm just going to go right to the calculator and generate a table of values from the calculator and then if I were working on the computer I would put those into the computer. So remember on the calculator I'm going to follow the steps I had up here. So I'm going to go to y equals I'm going to clear whatever I had in the calculator previously then I'm going to enter negative 2x, so negative 2, and then again, x is on the second row, plus 7. That's my new graph. I don't need to go zoom 6 again because that window is already in the calculator. In fact, if I press window, you'll see that my min on x is negative 10 to max is 10. The min on y, negative 10, max of 10. So I can just hit graph. That's going to give me a very rough graph. So I'm just going to draw a sketch so that I know what I'm going to be looking for when I put this into the computer. And then I'm going to go to the table, which is second table, and I'm going to generate a series of ordered pairs. Now usually on the computer, the options that you have on x and y are between negative 10 and 10. Not always, but usually. So I'm going to look at my table of values here and I'm going to select negative 1, 9. That's an ordered pair that satisfies the equation. 0, 7 and 1, 5. So if I were using the computer or having to put this into the computer, I would probably select you know, 0, 7 and 1, 5. And when you're working on a computer, you're going to want to select a button that looks like this. It has a line with two points in it. Then you pick your first point, click, and then move to your second point, click, and it will automatically draw the line for you. So if you look at your graph on your calculator, it should match what you end up graphing and the line that is connected on the computer. So hopefully this helps a little bit with graphing. Uh, if you have questions or you'd like to see other problems, don't hesitate to contact me.